Hi, I'm Deirdre Lane with Earth Clinic. Today, just a quick video about the black residue that forms on your silver bullion bar when you make it at home and what to do about it. The black you see on the positive electrode, which is my silver bar, is called silver oxide. But the black that you see on the rod is actually pure silver. It's just not adhered to very well on the wire. Now some people like to use a scrubbing method to clean their silver bars and rods after making a batch of colloidal silver. But some of these scrubbers leave behind debris that is not visible to human eyes, and this debris can contaminate your colloidal silver without you even being aware of it. Contaminated colloidal silver is not something that anybody needs. Scrubbers like steel wool, brass brushes, and green scrubbing pads can leave deposits embedded in your silver rod, potentially ruining it or contaminating it for future batches. So today I'm going to show you the flame method, which is a safe and efficient way to clean your silver and bring it back to a pure state. Keep a flame on your silver bar until it turns white. Once it's white, it's pure silver again. Do not touch the silver once you've put it on the flame. Leave it alone or use pliers, but don't touch it. Even after you turn the flame off, it's going to need 10 minutes at least to cool down. Trust me, you will burn yourself very badly if you try touching any part of the silver during this process. When the bullion bar and the rod have turned white, simply turn off the flame and leave them alone for at least 10 minutes. You're done. If you haven't already, please be sure to watch my previous four videos on colloidal silver. Hey, I hope you found this video informative. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Earth Clinic YouTube channel. Get it right.